universal credit, Ian Spunkball Duncan Smith has taken a number of complicated benefits and rolled them into one simple universal credit. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? But it isn't. It's sh sh shit. Mr. Duncan Smith, I'm a working mum. I need disability benefit. I haven't worked since I was 17. I need help as well. Quieten down, peasants. Quieten down. I have some excellent news. It turns out you are all the same thing. Inconvenient. Um, I mean, poor and in need. So what we've developed is the Universalator. You simply need to go to your local Eugenipore Centre where you will have a barcode grafted onto your neck. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> it tickles. What's that cattle stunner for? After we've scanned it, you simply need to step into the Eugenic Peasant Reader and the amount of benefit you need will be spat out the other end in coins. Simple. <laughs> it was a good idea, but history is littered with things that were good ideas. I've got a book full of them. The Helicopter Condom, a new panel show for Dave, do a bukkake on my nan's face. All of those ideas were great in a brainstorm, but none of them worked during the pilot. That's disgusting, love. Can I get the bus home now? It should be there to assist people, not as a cynical way to get people back to work. Here's your universal credit. Now, you will notice it's 5p a week. Is that enough? No, it isn't, Mr. Duncan Smith. I just sold my children to a Cambodian pimp. Exactly. How does that job in the fish packing factory seem now? Yeah, that, it, that does seem better than selling my children into prostitution. Thank you, Mr. Duncan Smith. Most people that are receiving these credits are in work anyway, getting shit wages. How out of touch are you, Mr. Duncan Smith, you slaphead buffoon? I was wondering if it would help them to learn Greek. Remember, Agamemnon didn't have any food when he was invading Troy, did he? <laughs> It would probably help if some of the people designing the benefits had actually claimed some in their lives and knew how it felt. That's unfair, Mr. Kane. When I was at university, I needed a bursary so I could afford more vellum in year four. But the worst thing about these universal credits is they don't pay out on time. So then you're left with nothing. Don't worry, at least they've abolished the 50p call line that you couldn't call with the money you don't have. Excuse me, Mr. Duncan Smith, I've run out of money waiting for my universal credit to be paid. Maybe you could have paid it in advance rather than in arrears? Yes, I do hear you, peasant, but unfortunately your pay as you go, go, gi, am I saying it right? Pay as you go mobile has now run out, so you can't even call me to complain. Never mind, you can use your toothless peasant mouth to suck off strangers in an alleyway. That way you should be able to avoid chicken nugget dippers from Iceland, Eastland. Fuck do you say it? Why would you want people to become skint and fall into rent arrears? Good question, Mr. Kane. But if they do fall into rent arrears, that would make them homeless. And without a home, guess what they can't claim? Universal credit. <laughs> That's called irony. <laughs> Don't forget, there is a way to get help if your credit hasn't arrived and you're totally skinned. You can borrow your next payment. How generous. That's right, gather round, peasants. You may borrow your next poverty payment. Don't gather too close, you smell slightly of oily foods. Next week, we have universal healthcare. Whether you have an ovarian cyst or a headache, this new Omni knife will be used to cut out whatever the problem is. <laughs>